Our next guest got his major break when he won the 2018 Actor Boy Award and then landed the role of young Nancy in Marvel's Luke Cage. Now, he, that can be viewed on Netflix. Yeah, yeah. But joining us long before that, yeah, is Malika Wan, <laughs> Jamaican actor Desmond Dennis. Hey, Desmond, how are you doing? Good morning, Auntie. Good morning, Jamaica. Welcome, welcome. So a lot of people have seen you in work that don't know who Desmond is. So let's start there. I always wanted to, to be an actor. Um, no, I was actually destined to be a doctor. Um, but somewhere along the journey, I realized that, you know, theater and acting, performance, all of that, the arts was really where my purpose lied. And so I made the transition gradually and now I'm doing it full time. Yeah. How is it? How is it going for you, that transition? Um, I find that, that, that when I talk to a lot of people, I say, you know, your purpose is your purpose. And, and I learned that from Jeremy Edwards. Um, it doesn't matter what else you can do. This is what you need to do. Yes. So, so tell me about that journey. Um, it's exactly that. It, it's one of those cases where you have certain things that you work towards. And along the way, you, you, re, you realize that it, it's not as fulfilling. And then you start doing another thing and you realize that that thing is the thing that brings you so much joy. And you realize that the impact that you have when doing that thing is what you know, fills you, and that's pretty much what's happened. So I've been pretty much doing that from, what, 2013 until now. Yeah. Um, we just saw a pic there of you uh, receiving your Actor Boy Award, and um, tell me the story. The picture tells a story. I see Chris Mack bearing you up, McKay, all the other actors. What was that moment like for you? All right, so that moment for me was, um, you know, when I did that role, it was Maya Wilkinson's heist. It was my first time leading a show. And when I did the role, actually, it was after an intervention because I was contemplating leaving the industry. Maya convinced me not to. She convinced me to do the, to do the show. And it was a long you know, process, a long journey to get there. After we did the show, we got the nominations. We're all excited. I genuinely didn't expect to win. But that year, uh, my mother had passed in, in, in the January of that year. And I wanted to be able to give her something special from what I had been doing. Because it was even just, you know, my, my journey in theater, it was something that I had to convince her to allow me to do because she was not happy about it at first until she came to see us in, in Old Fire Stick at the time. Um, and so I wanted to be able to win that one for her. So me crying that night was, you know, getting there, winning the award, and not being able to say, mommy, see it here. But, you know, Chris Mack, he's also from Clarendon. He actually was from the community near mine. Um, and so he was there to bear me up. Everybody from the cast was there, the presenters, and they understood the significance of the moment. And so I did not need to be as strong for myself because the industry in that moment pulled and, and held me up. Yeah, I mean, it, I, I don't know if people understand why it is I like to facilitate young talent. Um, and that includes a lot of those interventions, you know, talking to the parents and assuring them it's going to be okay. And I know your mom um, is, is extremely proud of you. You, you are, I don't have to talk about the security, insecurity on Ring Games. Um, <laughs> we started everybody on stage. Loves it. Yeah, we started on stage and then moved to to TVJ, and everybody loves the insecurity. How was that for you? How was that experience? I mean, being on TV and and doing that role. You know, it's funny because that for me was when I started to realize that it was also okay to do what I do in every space. Um, before then, I resigned to just being a theater a theater guy. I, I just do theater, that's it, because in my early years in the industry, I would do a lot of auditions and then, you know, I'd not be picked. And some of the times it was that I wasn't preppy enough or I didn't have the right complexion perhaps. So when I got that role, when you decided to transition that show and I saw myself on TV, I realized that all of those things that I thought, you know, perhaps it was because I was too black or perhaps it was because I was too country, um, all of those fears went because I saw that 
I looked good and I was doing well in this new space. And that was the moment I started to take acting, you know, for, for the TV space or for the screen space more seriously. So it was just a blessing. Thank you so, so much. You've written short films, screenplays. You continue to express your art with Quilt. You are in the Independence movie. Um, you train youngsters in drama, yes. but now there's something big happening for you. And I want all of Jamaica to know what it is because I want us all to rally and support you. You're, you're, you're heading off to study. Tell me about that. So this year I, I applied for drama school in the UK. Um, I applied for a school called Lambda. It's one of the oldest and most prestigious schools in the UK, but it's really, really expensive. Um, so I'm using the time now to raise money to attend the school. Um, so I started a, a, a crowdfunding thing. I started a, Go, a GoFundMe campaign, which I'm trying to get some support behind just to raise the money because it is a lot of mm -hmm. money and it is a lot of money that I do currently have, but it's such a great opportunity. Um, the school that the program that I applied for, which is the MA in um, directing, only seven people are admitted to that program each year. So it is really, you know, it's a cutthroat, best of the best type of situation. So just to be selected for that group is something that we all can celebrate as Jamaicans. Absolutely. And it's the only way we're only going to grow the industry and, and um, you know, showcase our own stories as Jamaican people by investing in our creatives. And so I'm, ex you know, I'm extremely proud of you for, for getting into the program. Good morning, Chase Fund. <laughs> no, I mean, that, there's money. I know Auntie, I'm going to throw it out there. So, Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, so as we wrap up, for young actors who are watching um, and watching your growth and the struggles, but also the triumphs, what are your words of encouragement to them? I think the one thing I would say is uh, it's okay to pave your own path and stand and walk that path proudly. I think that's the one thing that I've been able to do and I think it works in that once you recognize what you need to do, which is to be disciplined, to do your research, keep working despite the downs, you will see the light and you just keep moving towards that. So you, you can stay encouraged in that you know where you're going, so you keep working towards it step by step. It's one foot after the other. Yeah, representing Jamaica at Cari Festa, uh, uh, an impressive resume for a young man with not just big dreams, but, but great, great attitude and work ethic. So we look forward to all that's gonna happen because we know you're going to get that degree. All right, Jama you, Jamaican actor. Thank you, Smile. Desmond Dennis. <laughs> Coming up next, we hear.